In the land of Tamriel, the citizenry work and toil all day long. From chopping wood in the forests to selling skooma on the streets. Because of this, the people will naturally get tired and wish for a day to relax or celebrate. And that is where holidays come in. Holidays are days of celebration dedicated to either an event, a cultural custom, or a religious commemoration. And in the Elder Scrolls, there are actually a great many holidays that are introduced in the Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall and expanded on in the Elder Scrolls Online. Now, this video was supposed to be released in October near Halloween. But, unfortunately, I got hit with Corpus, and my lungs were on par with a Draugr chugging six cups of moon sugar a day. So, I was unable to. But, let us ignore all of that, and instead discuss the Elder Scrolls holiday that closely resembles Halloween. And that is the Witches' Festival. Hello, my fellow hirelings of House Telvani! I'm Neloth, and just like my video analyzing the holiday of Saturalia, which you should totally check out as I found some really cool hidden lore, I want to delve deep into the Witches Festival. So, the Witches Festival is a holiday that happens every year on the 13th of Frostfall, which, translated to real world time, is the 13th of October, like Friday the 13th. Which I think is really cute that Daggerfall added. Unfortunately, it is impossible to tell if the holiday actually happens on a Fridus or Friday. Anyways, while many people of Tamriel are superstitious, during this day, many people cast those fears aside and mock ghosts, demons, and evil spirits by dressing up as them in outrageous costumes. During this time, children will take to the streets and ask for candy, and beggars will seize the moment to ask for alms, and most people are obliged to give in to their demands. Not only do those children have the audacity to ask for candy, but they also engage in minor vandalism as well. Just look at this poor little netch! It's enough to think Dagoth Ur had some valid points! Aside from the evilness of youth, pumpkins are a major symbol of the Witches' Festival, carving them into jack-o'-lanterns or hollow-jack-lanterns as they are called in lore. The pumpkins are also used for cooking and smashing as well. Now, while the pumpkins do symbolize fun and good times during the Witches' Festival, they also have a darker undertone to them, as does the entirety of the Witches' Festival. There is a Daedra Lord named Haluzek that is referred to as Hollowjack the Pumpkin Spectre, who opens portals between Nern and his own realm known as Detritus. Now, Hollowjack, as I will refer to him as, is known as the Lord of Mortal Fears, and comes to feed on the terror of mortals and makes people's fears become a reality which drives said people insane. Now, when I say that Hollowjack is a Daedra Lord, I do not mean that he is a Daedric Prince. Rather, a Daedra Lord is a Daedric being that has great power throughout Oblivion, matched only by Demi-Princes, the offspring of Daedra, and only exceeded by actual Daedric Princes like Mehrunes Dagon or Mephala. However, Hollowjack doesn't appear like a normal Dramora, and instead is seen as a Pumpkin Spectre, when riding a horse, he will often take off his head and carry it in his arm in order to look like a headless horseman. We can actually encounter a headless horseman in Skyrim, who could actually be a form of Hollowjack just without the pumpkin. Perhaps his head made like a sweet roll and got stolen. Most Tamrielic citizens see Hollowjack as more of a myth, and an entity used to scare children so they behave. However, the Sigic Order has actually gathered detailed notes on Hollowjack and his Realm of Oblivion. 
notes I am currently using to make this very video. I'll make sure to add the Sigic Order in the description down below. One last thing to note about Hollowjack is that he has an interesting relationship with house cats. If someone is murdered in their own home, Hollowjack will send a shade of their cat to haunt the home and torment the killer with eternal shame and guilt. It is unknown what Hollowjack's connection with cats is beyond this, however, the Witches' Festival is on the same day as Mafala's Summoning Day, and Mafala is also entwined with Khajiiti Faith, and has her own artifact called the Ring of Khajiit. And spoiler alert, the Khajiit are very, very well related to cats. This is more of a theory, but I believe that Lord Hollowjack is a servant of Mafala, and considering how the Witches' Festival is a day that Hollowjack is rather active on, and it coincides with Mafala's summoning day, it doesn't seem too far of a stretch to suggest that idea. I also theorize that Hollowjack could serve Shea Gorath as well, because Hollowjack uses people's fears to drive them insane, and Shea Gorath would be rather pleased with his work, but I feel Mafala is a more plausible master. Now, there is actually more to the Witches' Festival beyond lovely Hollowjack. I mean, it is called the Witches' Festival. So where the fuck are the witches? Well, let me tell you, dear viewer. While the people celebrate in the cities, and Hollowjack torments people wherever the hell, different types of witches like demonologists, conjurers, lamias, warlocks, and thaumaturgidicids, whatever that word is, gather outside in the wilderness where they create and summon creatures that plague Tamriel forever. Why these witches do this is unknown. They could summon creatures for a number of reasons, like a pact with a Daedra, to acquire an army, to acquire personal power, continuing a traditional witch custom, or maybe just idle boredom. Whatever the case is, the witches do not stop there, as they will often lure adventurers to their covens and have them drink from their cauldrons with the promise that they will gain great power. The witches that take part in the witches' festival also become enemies with a mythical owl named Wisewing, which is most likely an interpretation of the Nordic god Junal who is in turn an interpretation of Julianos, of the Imperial Nine Divines. Wisewing, as he is referred to as, is said to warn the unwary away from graveyards and witch covens during the Witches' Festival. Now, Wisewing slash Junal slash Julianos is the Adric god of wisdom and logic, and is typically associated with magic and wizards so it is intriguing how he is antagonistic towards witches who are seen as dark magic users on this specific day. It seems like Julianos is active during this day as a guardian of some sorts to the people of Tamriel, but that is just conjecture. Speaking of magic, the Mages' Guild gets a lot of business during this holiday, and they do a lot of strange deals like selling spells and scrolls at discounted prices, and also evaluating enchanted weapons, armor, and other items for their mystic potential free of charge. So, to summarize, the Witches' Festival is celebrated in three different parts. First, it is celebrated by the common citizenry as a time to celebrate, make fun of dark creatures, get candy, and dress up. Second, it seems to be a day that surrounds a Daedra lord named Haluzek, also known as Hollowjack, and the Daedric prince known as Mafala, and these two entities seem connected and work together to seed chaos and dismay, but have become more mythical, as if they aren't really doing their jobs right. 
And lastly, in the darkest corners of the wilderness, many witch covens gather to take part in the witches' festival as a ceremony to acquire power and create dark creatures that antagonize the rest of Tamriel. All the while, Julianos posing as an owl named Wisewing that protects the citizenry by warning them away from places of witchery. And that is all I wrote. A video where I talk about the Witches Festival in the Elder Scrolls series. I very much enjoy doing these videos and really love the Satteralia video that I made last year as well. I will try to make more of these videos whenever a certain holiday creeps up, like New Year's Eve or in the Elder Scrolls, New Life Day. Sadly, there is no Elder Scrolls version of Thanksgiving. Also, there was some info on the Witches Festival that I intentionally left out, primarily because it seemed a bit too reliant on ESO game mechanics that I felt were rather weird and not that lore-friendly to the Elder Scrolls universe, especially involving plunder scrolls and undead mounts, so feel free to look at the unofficial Elder Scrolls wiki page for more info on that stuff if you're interested. So, with all that being said, make sure to like the like button, like the subscribe button, and like the bell notification down below to be updated on future videos. And I will see you whenever the fuck I decide to upload again. House Telvani be with you. Please, O oh hero of Skyrim, I shall be ever so grateful.